New concerns about the FDNY's hiring practices after the New York Post reveals an unprecedented nine ex felons are among the newest graduating class of probationary firefighters, including one who did jail time for gun possession. Critics accuse the FDNY of loosening its hiring standards in an effort to diversify its ranks following a 2014 bias lawsuit, while others say everyone deserves a second chance. Here's former FDNY Commissioner Howard Safir. I think it's a bad policy. I'm all for redemption, but the fact is, if somebody's committed a felony, it's a flaw in their character. And yeah. the police and fire departments are some of the most honorable professions in the world. And my view is, if you committed a felony, you should certainly be very last in line behind people who did not commit felonies to join the department. Lowering standards is the wrong message, especially in emergency services where lives are at, right. are at stake. Hmm. All right. Do you agree with Mr. Safer? Um, you know, I, I do agree, and I do, and I disagree to some extent. First of all, I think if you're going to be a cop or a firefighter or anything else, you should be the person that graduated at the top of your class. I don't really care about anything else because these are people who actually save people's lives. Having said that, you should also not be precluded if you are at the top of the class from having one of these jobs if you were a felon before, because I really do believe in second chances. I think criminal justice reform is something I feel very strongly about, and I think that if you are somebody who paid your dues to society and you've been clean for a long period of time, that I don't think what you did previously but, should be held against you, but you have to be qualified. It can't just sure, be... Sure, we're going to assume that, that they're going to be qualified. The question is, what is the nature of the prior felony offense for which they were behind bars? Some would be more concerning than others. For example, if, if they were embezzling, that is not of, as, as much concern if, for example, the crime were arson, let's say, <laughs> um, you know, or, or certain other kinds, right? Gun possession, for example. I don't know. I whole wholly defer to the the former commissioner on this because he knows what it takes right to keep people safe uh, to keep New York safe and if he says that this is not a standard that would be good uh, to play out this job <laughs> I to disagree with him I, I still feel like given it, it falls back on giving people another chance and a second chance and if they're capable not just yeah. capable but highly qualified for this job and they are willing to put their life on the line for me or any of us. But should they ever be ahead in line of somebody yeah. who never committed a felony? If you, if you go through the application process and you are more qualified than somebody underneath you, yes. Yeah, I agree.